So it's no secret. I haven't really been playing raid. I, like I haven't even been logging in to finish my dailies, which is something that I would at least spend the five minutes it takes to to do. Sometimes I forget to even just log in to do clan boss. Like for the past two days, I've I've neglected clan boss, not even logging in to collect my my uh, sacred shards or, or whatever you want to call it. It's just not a thing that I do anymore. When I'm showering, I used to just have it on my phone, or when I'm watching TV, I would just have it running in the background. But I just I just don't anymore. Like I came to raid, I started doing content for raid because I was in enjoying it and I'm not enjoying it anymore. Just straight up not enjoying it anymore. It feels forced and I don't know why I'm forcing myself to do it anymore. Maybe it's just because it's out of habit. That's probably like the biggest thing. Like I just got so used to doing it that uh, I just kept doing it. These changes to Hydra, the re rebalances, the nerfs, completely disenchanted me from the game. It took me a while to get there, but it's like, yeah, after making like 12, 20, 15 different rant videos about Hydra, some of you guys were just like, just quit the game. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of the direction that, I, that I'm, I'm heading in. Like I, I am, like I said, I'm just completely disenchanted with the game. The Hydra changes, the fact that the devs, they don't really pay attention to the to the most of the community. They want to stay in this uh, relationship where they kind of just use and abuse us, carry it in the stick, that whole thing. It's just kind of like, dude. And then you don't really realize this until you start looking at other games where you realize, oh man, you know, these, these developers actually care about the community and care about the opinions and, and, and the ideas that the players have. You know, these people actually listen to their player base and they actually go out of their way to make those changes, to implement those changes because they care about the community. But that's not the case with Raid for the most part. Like, yeah, they, like I said, they carry it in the stick, they'll fuck you and then they'll give you a nice drink after that. And so you kind of forget about getting fucked and you're like, oh, this drink is, is pretty nice. But yeah, I'm not even like feeling that anymore it's it's not even something that i can delude myself into thinking is okay like i can't rationalize being you know in this thing anymore i mean i'm here doing live arena but i i don't even i'll be honest i don't even really do this anymore either there's just i, I can't even like bring myself to do the content I, I wanted to come to raid and start covering raid because i enjoyed the game i was passionate about it and part of it was you know oh i'm, I'm addicted to it but i was able to you know at least tell myself it was okay but now i, I just i can't do that anymore uh it's just not something that i i can um you know convince myself of i i can't explain it away in my head I, I can't even let the other me inside say that hey you know it's okay you know all this to kind of just say like i don't know how much longer i'm going to be doing raid content anymore yeah there's you know a new clan boss coming or whatever you want to call it but it's the same thing it, it's going to be the same thing it's gonna be the same situation we might get hyped up over it and then it's gonna come up like it's a vicious cycle right this has been happening for for six years right uh, there's a pattern here now i'm not saying it's going to be the case but oftentimes you can look at the pattern the behaviors the company has shown us before and then you can guesstimate what's going to happen next and that's just the case with raid that's the relationship that you're that you're in when you when you stick around with raid and so like and i know there was talk about me covering king arthur but then i started to realize that all gacha games are going to be like this. This is the curse of playing a gacha game. It's all going to be the same thing. Like King Arthur might do it a little bit differently. They might be newer and listen to their player base and, and all that, but I I don't think it's gonna be that much different than than Raid. I feel like if you're in any type of gacha game that that is in this style, that it's going to be the same thing and I'm gonna run into the same issues. It's like me deciding to leave the military because I hated being in the military and then wanting to become a cop right after that. Like, it's going to be the same thing. Or looking at these other games where the community is being listened to and they're being given what the what they want to make the player base happy. And it makes me realize that, hey, I could probably be in that community instead, you know, where they actually care. I probably have like one or two more raid videos in me. I don't even know. You know, I just, I just don't know, Like, but I'm pretty much checked out. It's kind of like in real life when you're in a bad relationship with somebody and you don't realize that you're in a bad relationship with somebody until you get with somebody else or you see another person's relationship and realize, oh, that's how this person treats that person and that's the type of relationship that I deserve. I and mean, that shows in my videos or my lack thereof. I mean, you're talking about a guy who would post all the time sometimes like 11 videos in one day to now where it's just like i posted like one video in like a week you know what i mean i even had i even had um somebody else message another content creator and then that content creator messaged me asking where i'm at showing me a screenshot of that um of that post that he, he sent and i thought that was pretty funny but but yeah so um i'm not giving the account away i'm gonna keep it because i've already put so much time into it and you know one of these days 
I might be traveling and I want some things to do on my phone. So, you know, that, that might still stick around, but I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be covering uh, much of Raid anymore. I'll probably like do a Rotos video because I already paid for the thumbnail and I just never got around to it. So I might be doing that, but I just wanted to explain uh, what's going on and my plans uh, for this channel. I think I'm probably just gonna play a, start playing a different game. Like um, one of the games I was looking at where the community is actually listened to, um, according to, uh, you know, and no game is perfect, right? But uh, Path of Exile looks like a very enticing game. And uh, apparently there's a lot of good good uh, heat coming off, of the, uh, coming off of that. So that is something that I'm gonna be looking into. If you want to unsub and not see anything else that isn't Raid, I would probably suggest that you just unsub for me. Uh, it's, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, you don't have to announce your departure. Um, you could just unsub, and that's completely fine with me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, get that out of the way because pretty soon here, I'm pretty much just done with the raid. I don't want to be in the shit anymore. So, yeah, but I mean, I appreciate everybody who's uh, stuck around and and everything, but you know, it's just it's just not something that I that I want to be a part of anymore and you know it sucks because the community was was one of the main things that i i stuck around um with for and um then everybody around me started leaving like people in my clan you know some of you guys might say oh you know people aren't really leaving and whatnot but it's just that's just not true because i've i've been seeing people in my discord leave i've been um seeing people in my clans leave like my clan leader is leaving and he was like hey do you want to take over the clan I was like, nah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much checked out too. And he's like, oh, I guess we're, we're both leaving. This is crazy. When I finally decided that I was gonna start playing Raid less, I realized how much time I have. I've been working on my other channels and I've been able to, you know, just enjoy life more. And oh my God, that was a really nice hit from Wukong. And um, bro, I went on a walk. I'm starting to walk more. I'm taking care of my health. You know what I mean? And I, I just think that's crazy because I would be so into to raid before that I never really paid attention to like um, my health. Like I'm not the unhealthiest guy, right? I'm not like, you know what I mean? Like I don't look like a typical American. I mean, I'm Asian, but you know what I mean? But yeah, it's like now I've been going for walks on a regular basis, uh, a regular 1.5 miles a day. Um, I, I did two miles. I've been doing two, two miles consistently. I'm going for runs. Like I'm taking care of myself. And a lot of this comes from not being a player.